Time is a terrible thing to waste. Hi, my name is Mr. Gold, and today we're gonna to be going over one of the greatest devices in human history, the watch, or the pocket watch. Yes, kids, that's right. Time in the palm of your hands. Now, before you start considering this guy compared to that big old grandfather clock in the corner, let's face it. Grandpa's clock is nice, wakes you up in the morning, and looks amazing in your living room. But once you leave the house, what then? How do you know when the school bus comes? How do you know when to go to work, when to eat lunch, when your favorite TV show is on? I don't know. Instead, you're gonna look at your wrist, and from there, you're gonna see this guy. The portable watch, the accessible watch, the greatly utilized watch. Something that everybody has, whether it is a pocket watch, a wrist watch, a cell phone, a watch phone. They've got all of them all over the place. They're greatly utilized. Everybody has them, even though it's not really appreciated. And who can we thank? Who's the one that started it all? Well, in the early 1600s, a locksmith named Peter Henlin decided, hey, let's make this guy accessible for all. Let's make this guy small. Now, I know what you're thinking, a locksmith. What do you do, break into the place first? No, 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 no. At that time, locksmiths were great mechanics. They knew how to fix everything. They knew the innards of the mechanics, the gears, the correct springs needed. You know that tick-tock, tick-tock you keep hearing all over the place? Well, guess what? That's done by one of the springs that he invented. He just made it smaller and better utilized for this little guy right here. And because of that, now we can use it for anything we want. So, kids, at this time, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope to see you at the Carnegie Museum very soon. And until then, there's never enough time. But even though you can't keep time, you can always accessorize it. So until then, kids, I'll see you next time.